This is Yarbo, an autonomous robot snowboarder that clears snow off your driveway so you don't have to. I was extremely skeptical that this thing would actually work. I just figured there was no way it was going to do a good enough job and actually clear the driveway. It not only worked, it worked really well and absolutely blew me away. Pun intended. In this video, I'm going to show you what this product actually is and how it works. I'll show you how I set mine up and what I do differently. Then I'll give you my overall thoughts of what's awesome, what sucks, and who should get one. Yarbo is a module lawn care system designed to do many things around your property. It's made up of a center unit called a main core that houses the battery and rides on heavy duty tracks. From there, you can attach a multitude of different attachments or modules to allow the Yarbo to do different things. I'm using the snowblower attachment in this video, but it can also plow snow, mow grass, blow leaves, spray liquid, or spread granule products. It can even tow up to 3,000 pounds. That's insane. To get my Yarbo into winter mode, I first had to swap out the tracks for the studded version that has a more aggressive tread pattern and tiny metal studs that are better for grip when dealing with ice and snow. You can see the difference between the two styles of tracks pretty easily. The next thing I needed to do was to connect the snowblower module to the core. It's dual stage and you can see the augers are aggressive and made out of metal. That's what you'd want. The discharge chute is also metal and the whole unit is heavy, 40 to 50 pounds for sure. In fact, just the main core section with the tracks and battery is over 100 pounds by itself. This is a serious little robot. Connecting the snowblower module involves aligning some pins and clicking it into place. One simple electrical connection and boom, I'm ready for winter. Well, almost. Like most robot lawnmowers, Yarbo runs off of RTK technology, which is a form of GPS. RTK uses a fixed base station to provide real-time corrections to a moving receiver. That's the Yarbo. This method provides centimeter level accuracy and is perfect for autonomous applications. The fixed base station is called the data center and it's set up in my yard and it needs a pretty good view of the sky because it constantly looks for satellites and putting it under a tree would make that hard for it to do. I found a decently open area of my yard with minimal tree interference and decided that that would work at least temporarily. In warmer weather, I might try to find a permanent location off the side of my barn, but right now it's winter and it's cold and I'm not going up on a ladder, so this will have to do for now. The hardest part of the entire install is that the data center requires an ethernet cable. That's pretty different from other robots I've used that only need a Wi-Fi signal and the ethernet requirement can add some complexity to the placement of your install. I have a mesh network for the house and I was able to place an additional node out in my barn and that gave me all the ports that I needed. Another quick and easy way to get around this problem of needing an ethernet port is to use something like this wi-fi extender from tp link plug this little guy in anywhere within your wi-fi coverage and boom there you go little port right on the side there i'm literally running the ethernet cable out through this door 